all right welcome back and here we have the gun all rigged and nice all working but it doesn't look too nice it's not you know very easy to work with with these bones just in front of everything so let's uh, let's make it a, a bit nicer a bit uh, look a bit better so we can start by by um, selecting each bone and going to the bone properties here and we can actually turn off the scale or lock the scale so we don't accidentally scale them because we don't want, want this to happen you know so we can actually press the lock key here next to each bone or next to each scale value and that's going to prevent us from scaling by accident which is pretty useful so let's do that for all bones all right and we can also turn off the in front and the axes and the names because we don't really need that right now so let's go to the viewport display and turn off show names axis and in front and now we have another problem we can't see the bones so how are we supposed to animate them right well what we can do is we can use custom bone shapes so we can actually use a mesh like a custom mesh and we can apply it to the bone and we can use that shape as the actual bone shape which is really cool so technically we could use we could use any shape really but i'm going to use some pretty basic shapes for this this course just to kind of show the basics of how they can be used so let's go to object mode by pressing control tab and let's create a new cube and scale it down by pressing s and let's duplicate the cube and let's also make a, a uv sphere and scale it down and let's apply the scale to all of these so uh, select the mesh each mesh and press ctrl a and choose scale we don't have to apply the location it, it can be like that that's fine for now and let's also rename them so let's call this one uh, cube shape one and cube shape two and sphere shape all right and let's select all of these now and press m and let's move them to a new collection so kind of put them in their own kind of group and let's call this one uh, bone shapes and the good thing about collections is that we can actually disable this this whole group without selecting each one so we can actually go here and press this one and it's going to turn off all them all of them so that's good very useful um, right and let's make this look a bit cooler so we can start with the sphere select the sphere go to edit mode and then in the top left choose uh, edge select and now we can uh, remove some parts of this so we can start by deselecting the center line here by holding down shift and alt and the same for this one and my goal here is to, to create some kind of like atom looking shape you know <laughs> so uh, yeah so something like this probably looks pretty cool and let's delete these the selected edges so press x and choose edges and there you go now we have this cool shape here that we can use and uh, these ones we can keep like cubes for now that's fine all right so let's go back to the rig we can switch to wireframe mode by pressing shift z and let's select the rig and go to post mode 
and we can start by selecting the, the gun root bone here and go to the bone properties and then in viewport display we can set a custom object here so let's set this custom object to the sphere shape that we just made and <laughs> as we can see it's it's very small uh, we can't really see it so let's scale it up a bit let's I think about eight nine ten ten is perfect I like that and um, so this is just the bone that we had before but with a different shape and it makes it a bit easier to select the bone and also to see where the rotation is um, makes it a bit more clear so let's repeat this step for the these ones as well so let's start with the slider bone select that and let's use cube shape 1 for that and let's enable wireframe as well and scale it up a bit alright and now it's not really fitting the shape it's a bit kinda goes outside the model which it's not very nice it doesn't look too good so we can actually edit this model here so select the whole model and press SX to scale it down on the x-axis and we can actually see that the bone shape is actually moving in real time which is very useful so we can actually shape it perfectly here and on the y-axis okay something like that that's pretty good it makes it really easy to, se uh, to select it too so now we can actually see clearly where all the, the bones are and let's do this for the, the mag as well so select the mag go to custom object and let's use the cube shape 02 let's scale it up a bit and just like we did with, with the slide bone we can actually edit this model here and make it a bit more fitting I suppose something like that I think that's pretty good alright and now we can actually hide the bone shapes because we won't be uh, using them anymore it's still good to have them in the scene but we don't really need them anymore so we can just go here to the bone uh, bone shapes group and uh, hide it boom there you go all right so now we have our finished rig we have added some custom bone shapes to it make it made it look really cool but yeah that's all for this part and i'll see you guys in the next lecture <laughs>